everybody. We're here on Berg Vivant. I'm Mike Bizzelli. This is Lonnie the Theater Lady, and we are here to talk about A Winter's Tale. Oh, look, it's a lovely. <laughs> the program's lovely, This is isn't what it? I got in the mail. Oh, okay. And this is the program. I like, yeah, they're both lovely. But let's not waste time talking about that, because yeah. this show was phenomenal. It was an phenomenal. event. It's an event. And tell me the word you used the other night. I don't want to steal your word. Oh, it's just magical. It I thought it was magical. magical. It, uh, costume design, projection design, uh, every element was magical. It, it was. It just, it was you feel, here's the thing about Quantum. Carla Booth, who leads Quantum, and she was a director. co-creator for this, right. which was a world premiere Baroque opera. World premiere. We're world premiere Baroque opera. It is an opera, so you do have to know that going in. It is not the regular sort of quantum sort of show. However, uh, yeah. you don't even have to like opera to appreciate and enjoy this because it was just a visual feast. masterpiece, a feast for the eyes. Yes. Anywhere from the award-winning costumes by Susan Sue that you mentioned. Oh, yes. Uh, the Sue. set design by Tony Ferreri was amazing. And the dancers that were oh, yes. almost from on the stage. Theater. Yes, and Michelle De La Reza and Peter Cope did the choreographer free choreography for these wonderful dancers who were always on the stage and their dances were representing the emotions of what was happening right. on the stage so beautifully and they were sensual, sensual graceful, but also whimsical. And, a lot at of times, whimsical at moments times. with the dancing, yes. which I really liked because it gave me that feeling of a, like being in the old Globe Theater. It, like in Shakespeare's oh, were you time. There? Yes, I was. I was there. Um, I didn't back when I was a kid. You were that much older than I uh, am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it gave me that feeling of like, uh, you know, you had something for everyone. There's like the the playfulness of of the dancers while the you know the drama of the show is going on. Almost at times, and I mean this in a complimentary way, like a three ring circus. Because I found a couple times I was watching things and I just oh, pointed right. for you. Oh, look at this! Yeah, look it's at perfect this. for the ADD so audience because they're on. like, oh, oh, I'll just look over here for a minute. Yeah. Everywhere. Uh, yeah. No, there was a lot. It's a lot going on. Uh, very tremendously well done. Uh, like you said, the costume, like oh, uh, the costumes Susan were just magnificently regal. extravagant and oh, magnificently and extravagant. Oh, cheers yes, to that, baby. Absolutely. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> I was thinking it. This whole production is really splendid. It's so full of uh, so many surprises. Circumstance, pot like a lot. Um, yeah, uh, theatrical excitement, very exciting, uh, and an really experience. Excited. And all of Carla's shows, that's what I was getting to, all of Quantum's shows, rather, um, are an experience. You don't just see something, you feel it, you, you are immersed in it. Um, and, and they're and, also different from one another, which is what makes it really wonderful. And we should mention the venue, too. Oh, the venue was beautiful. Uh, uh, the Union Trust Building. The Union Trust Building. Big, beautiful domed ceiling. Yeah. And a lovely auditorium. Mm -hmm. It was very elegant. Elegant. That's also a good word, too. Cheers to that, too. Oh, oh, oh yikes. <laughs> Control oh, yourself. <laughs> Electrocute us. Uh, yeah. Oh, performances, though. Uh, Rebecca Belzik was Perita. Uh, Perdita? Perdita. Perdita. Uh, which is the lead female romantic role. Uh, excellently done. Excellently done. I, I, the women in this, the, the, just, they, they were all fantastic. Well, if you know, you read the bios of these people, they're people that are award winners right. from oh. all over the world. Uh, the orchestra was phenomenal. I was yeah, oh, that's right, because this wasn't just a quantum orchestra. show. This was Chad and Baroque. Collaboration. And Attack Theater collaborating with Quantum. Uh, so a lot of a lot of great people involved, uh, pretty, bringing a superior product. Uh, oh, yeah. it, I think it's uh, I think it's another must see for P Pittsburgh. I think it's one of those shows. If you like opera, but, and, uh, I'm telling you, you don't have to like opera okay. to like this. And there's show. a weird thing about uh, one other one minor criticism, and uh, 
I'm criticizing Sh William Shakespeare, so yikes. <laughs> no, this is unfair. Nice. A Winter's Tale is a kind of a very disjointed tale. Uh, the first act is much different than the second act. Mm -hmm. uh, but. Um, it, well, many years later. Right. It works as a very cohesive piece, though. We, uh, I want to mention Autoclus, uh, Andre uh, Nemzer. Um, excellent singing voice, hilarious. Uh, doesn't show up to the second act, so. Uh, yeah, he plays like a rogue, uh, brings this sort of story together. It's a very, it's a fun part. He's very funny in it. Yes. Uh, the cast was all tremendous. Uh, they definitely were. That's what I said. These people were from all over the country and the world. And just right. wonderful. And they're all here in Pittsburgh, and you should go out and see them. I, I highly recommend. A it thumb plays, up? Thumb up? No, two thumbs, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Four yeah. thumbs up. Four, four uh, thumbs up. <laughs> it runs through October 3rd. Oh, so they have plenty of We time. mentioned the set was amazing, but we didn't say it was Tony Ferreri. Which oh, we didn't? Oh, because, no, okay. I forgot to say no, that. Good job, well, we're both so excited because it was so uh, marvelous. Yeah. Yes, and we were going to mention the projection design by oh, yeah. Joseph Siemens because that was. That's what lends so it to a magical element. Beautiful. Yes. And used so effectively in so many different ways right. at so many Let's different times. Let's not spoil it, Sweeney. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Not spoiling. You know, that projection design was one of probably one of my most favorite elements of the show. But this production, I think, I could see, even though I know everything about it from having seen it, I could see it over and over, knowing what's coming. Give and these still people enjoy a chance. It. It's a weird time for a winter's tale. I don't want to think about winter yet. It was. I'm still it, enjoying my summer. It was a hot night. I got a little. Uh, I like a hot night. A winter's. Yeah. <laughs> people had hats. Remember, people came. They were a little fascinated. Yeah. Some. Oh. People and dressed the, up. The one woman. <laughs> had a hat that big. She sat down in the front row, and you could see everybody. Everybody was like, we began like. like and we're all like, we were she all better betting. take that hat off. She, she better, better take, take that hat off. And she did. She, did. she was Thank a polite because, beer Oh my God, you because couldn't sit by now. The audience was dressed even, in, in a baroque kind of a costume. There was a, like a, a yeah, like a pirate. There was a pirate there in the audience. From the wonderful fascinator I spoke with that lady, and oh, I yeah. said, I'm fascinated with your fascinator. Oh my god, of course you would. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.